Hi there, I'm Teresa Julo, full-time RVer and traveling yoga teacher. And I thought I'd spend some time with you today in the midst of all this craziness to show you some yoga things that you can do in the comfort of our, your RV, very small space, just the width of your mat or even a big beach towel if you have one. And you really don't even need a mat. You can just stretch out right on the floor. Do practice yoga in bare feet though, because it helps you get a better grip on things. I've been a practicing yogi for about 22 years, so your poses may not look like mine do, and that's just because I've been at it maybe a, long, a little bit longer than you have. So be patient with yourself, mindful of any injuries or illnesses that you have, and really just have a good time. This is to help you get a good stretch, just a little bit of calmness in what we're going through right now. So I hope to see you at an upcoming escapee or escapers event. And let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna start with a calming breath. You're gonna sweep your arms out overhead, take a nice big stretch, bring your palms together and just bring your hands to your heart. Close your eyes for a few breaths just to see how you're feeling and perhaps set an intention for your practice, something you'd like to focus on. Maybe you wanna work on your breath, maybe there's a particular pose or an area of your body that you'd like to stretch out more. So just take a breath into that space. And as you exhale that breath out, bring your hands down to your knees. And we're going to start with some trunk circles. These are going to be small circles to the right side. You're just rotating around the base of the spine. And as you feel some more space develop, you want to make those circles a little bit larger. You can make them very large, incorporating your shoulders into it. Help stretch out the low back and the hips and it should feel very good. This is especially good to do after a long day of driving somewhere. And the next time we come to the right knee, we're gonna stop over that knee and press into the left thigh. That will help open up the hip a little bit more. Take an inhale. And as you exhale, continue that circle around until you come to the left knee. Stop over the left knee and then press into the right thigh, pressing that hip a little bit more open. Take an inhale. And then as you exhale, sweep around, come back to your center. And we're going to start those in the opposite direction. So we're going to start to the left. And again, they're going to be little circles. Then start to increase the size of the circles. And then making the circles as big as you'd like them to be. Incorporate the shoulders. Check out how everything's feeling. And next time you come to that left knee, you're going to stop over that knee Press into that right thigh again to press the hip down. Take an inhale. Exhale, relax that. Come around so you come to the right knee. Press down on the left thigh to press into that hip. Take your inhale. Exhale, let yourself relax. Come to your center and then press up. Take your hands to align with your hips and we're gonna make spider fingertips here. So press those spider fingertips down into the floor, lengthen the heart up and then right ear to right shoulder. You can remain here to deepen that stretch. Bring the right palm down to your mat, press into it. Take an inhale. And as you exhale, bring your head to center and then left ear to left shoulder. Pressing that left palm down, taking an inhale, and then exhaling as you come to center. Sweep the arms up in front of you. Exhale the hands to the heart, and then extend the hands out to the front of you. Walk out as far as you feel comfortable with. 
I'm going to be keeping all my poses on the low side today because I'm recording with my iPhone and otherwise I'll be out of focus for you and probably cut off my head and I don't think you'd like to see that. So now that you've got a little bit more length in the spine, maybe walk the hands out a little bit further. Press your seat into your mat. It will further lengthen the spine. Flatten the palms. It'll be a little bit of a deeper stretch. And on your next breath, start looking up, then walk your hands back towards your body. Align the hands again at the side of the hips. And we're gonna sweep the left arm up. Get as much length as you can on that left side. Place the right palm down and then dip over to the right side. You can look under the left shoulder, decide if you need a shower today or not, looking up at the elbow or looking up at the hand. Your choice, and it'll depend on how your neck is feeling. Take an inhale. As you exhale, sweep that left arm down and right across, and then place it somewhere by the right knee. It can be on the floor, it can also be on your knee. Turn into that twist, looking down at your mat. Take a breath. And as you exhale, let yourself relax. Come back to your center and we'll do the other side. So left hand aligned with the hip. Inhale the right arm up. Get all the length that you can. Don't cheat yourself on the length. Exhale, begin to dip over, looking either at the shoulder, the elbow, or up to your hand, your choice. Take an inhale, maybe dip down a little bit further by bending the elbow, and then sweeping your arm down and across, bring that right hand either to the right floor in front of you, or maybe onto the right knee, your choice. Take a breath, turning into that twist. and exhaling, let yourself relax, come center. And I'm gonna to turn to the top side of my mat, extending my feet out pretty much to the top edge, making sure I'm comfortable on the two sit bones at the bottom of your bum. Inhale, sweep the arms up in front of you. Exhale, lean back, draw the navel to the spine. We're gonna work on the torso here. So we wanna lean back just to the point where we can hold this. And then inhale up, exhale, turn your palms forward, float your hands down, rest your hands wherever you feel comfortable. It can be on your knees, your shin, your mat, your feet, anything you can reach is fine. Inhale, bring your gaze up and you're looking just above the toe line. It lengthens the spine. Take an inhale, as you exhale, let your back start to round, draw your chin in, and just gaze at your knees. Take another breath here. And as you begin your inhale, bend the elbows, bring that gaze up past the toes again. And exhale, let yourself relax, walk your hands in towards your feet. Bend the right knee and bring the sole of the right foot to the inside of the left thigh. And it's perfectly okay if the foot sits out here too. It will depend on the tightness of your hips. We're just doing the best we can. Those left toes need to be flexed. You wanna press out through the heel because that keeps the knee safe and it keeps the thigh engaged. Inhale, sweep the arms out. Again, lots of length here. Shift a little to the left and then float the hands down. Rest the hands wherever you want to, and then draw yourself down into that stretch. Your gaze is at your shin or at your toes. Take an inhale. Exhale, start walking your hands back and we'll switch sides. So you're gonna stretch out the right leg, you're gonna flex the foot, Bend in that left knee, the sole of the left foot towards the inner right thigh. You want to adjust your seat to make sure that the sit bones feel good and grounded. Inhale, sweep the arms out. Take that little shift toward the right and then come down, placing your hands wherever you feel comfortable. Knee, shin, ankle, feet. Gaze down towards the knee. 
take your breath and then inhaling, draw that gaze up to that point between or above the toes. Give it another breath here. Exhale, let yourself relax, walk yourself up and then bring the soles of your feet together in cobbler. Oh, turn a little bit so you can see a little better. Bringing the soles of our feet together. You're going to place your hands either around the shins, the ankles, the feet, or the toes. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, bend your elbows. You can put your hands on your shins to press the hips open a little bit more, and your gaze will be right down past your toes. Take an inhale, start to bring yourself up. Take your ankles and pull your feet in as close to your body as is comfortable for you. Hands can rest at the ankles, the feet, or the toes. Again, I like to put my hands around my toes. Inhale, lengthen up, lots of length in the spine. Draw the navel in, and then exhale, float down over those toes. This is gonna be a pretty big stretch for the inner thighs, and you can deepen the stretch by pressing the knees further down towards your mat. This is another really good pose to do after you've driven for a long time because it helps hope open up the hips and the hamstrings. Take an inhale, come on up. Exhale, put your hands on your knees and close your knees. And we're gonna move to hands and knees. So you wanna be up towards the top of your mat. You want those little spider fingertips and you wanna look at your knees and look to see if you can see your feet. You don't want to see your feet. So move your feet so you can't see them. Looking down at your mat, you're going to stretch the right leg out behind you, curl the toes under, and then press into that right heel. It's going to give you a really nice calf stretch. Take an inhale. Exhale. Let that relax. Then lift up your right leg to hip level. If you have the support of something in front of you, you can stretch out the left hand. You can use that to hang on to. Take the navel to the spine because you're balancing here and you will feel that in the torso. Take an inhale, exhale, bring that left hand down to your mat, and then you're gonna swing the right leg behind you. Kind of crossing the leg behind you, curl the toes under again, and then press it out into that heel. You can turn to look at that side too, and that'll give you a stretch along the whole right side of the body. Bend the right knee, bring the right knee back, and let's move to the left side. So extending the left leg out, curl the toes under, press into that left heel. This feels really good. You're gonna enjoy this stretch. Take another breath. And as you exhale, draw the navel in, you're going to pick up that left leg, flexing the foot, and then extending the right arm out in front of you. If you have a couch like I do, you can rest your hand there. It'll help with the balance. Mindful to keep the navel to the spine. And then as you exhale, put the hand down, and then we're going to sweep that left foot over to the right side, curl the toes under again, press into that heel turn to look at the foot for the extra stretch. This is really fantastic for stretching out the side and the side of the hip. Take an inhale, exhale, let yourself come back to center, make yourself comfortable on the knees, move your hands to underneath your shoulders. They probably moved a little bit, curl the toes under, and we're going to lift the knees up off the mat just enough to engage the torso and also the thighs. It will build a little heat. Take an inhale, exhale, begin to straighten your legs coming into down dog. It's not important in down dog if the heels reach the mat or not. What is important is that the fingers are spread nice and wide and between your thumb and your index finger is where you want to press the weight. Pressing the seat back, a little bend in the elbows is okay too. Looking down at your knees or your feet, begin to take your dog for a walk, helping to stretch out the hips and the hamstrings. Take an inhale. 
And then as you exhale, start to slow yourself down. Walk your feet a little bit closer to your hands. Your heels should come down to the mat. And we're gonna take the right hand, sweep it under our body and grip somewhere onto the left leg. Then turning to look under the left. Take another breath there and then replace the right hand moving on to the left side. So left hand coming somewhere onto right leg, press into that, draw yourself through that window. I think I'm giving you more than you wanna see. Exhale, bring the knees down to the mat. Keep the toes curled under, walk your hands back to your thighs and we're stretching out the feet and the ankles right now. Take another breath and inhale, sweep the arms up. Bring the palms together, exhale, hands to the heart. And now we're gonna cross at the elbows. What's that look like to you? Then inhale back to center, exhale, let your hands come down, put your hands on the mat and bring your seat back down to the mat. Sweep the legs back out in front of you, heels to the top of the mat, sitting really comfortable on our sit bones. We're going to inhale the arms up. We're going to exhale, lean back just to that point where we can hold it. Inhale up again, exhale, bring your hands down, bend your knees. We're going to be coming into boat pose here with the hands firmly under the knees. Inhale, lift the spine. Walk the feet back just to that point where you can lift them up, draw the navel in, and then lifting our shins parallel to the floor. Toes pointed. Some people like to have their feet flexed here and that's perfectly fine. I prefer my toes pointed. If you care to, extend out the arms and straighten the legs out. Take a breath. Exhale, hands back under the knees. Fold the feet down, shimmy yourself up to the top of your mat, and then using your hands on your thighs, begin to lower yourself down. Draw the knees into your chest, relax your head to the mat, and start making some knee circles. Take a couple more deep breaths. Come to your center and then start moving around in a different direction. Put your hands underneath the knees again, pull them really tight into the chest, take a slight tuck in the chin and then raise your forehead towards your knees and extend your legs out, walking your hands up your legs. You can draw your legs closer into your body for a deeper stretch. You can also, with your two yogi fingers, the index and middle fingers, wrap around your big toes to draw yourself in very deeply by bending the elbows. Take another inhale. Exhale, let the head come down. Bend the knees in. We're going to keep the right knee into our chest and extend the left leg first down to the mat. Clasping the hands around the right shin, pull that knee in tightly and then extend out the left leg. Take a deep breath, that feels awesome. Exhale and switch sides. So it's left knee coming into the chest, right foot coming down to the floor. So first pull in that left knee tightly, then stretch out that right leg flexing the foot, take a nice deep breath, and exhale, letting yourself relax. Bend both knees, maybe scooch down a little further, fix any clothing that you need to, and we'll move into bridge pose. You're gonna align your hands down the length of your mat, and then walk your heels as close to your fingertips as possible and it's perfectly fine if they don't touch. Tighten the navel, 
On our next inhale, we're going to raise the torso up towards the ceiling. It doesn't matter how high you come, but you're working on the stretch for the front hip flexors. If you'd like to take this a little bit deeper, you walk your shoulders underneath, clasp your hands together, and that will actually help you press up a little bit higher. Take an inhale. As you exhale, relax the shoulders, unclasp the hands, and very slowly bring the spine down, letting the seat be the last thing to come down. Then extend the right leg out, extend the left leg out, turn your palms up to the sky, and the hard work is done here. It's time for Shavasana. So finding that comfortable spot for your head to rest, wiggle your shoulders down, let your palms just fall open, your legs fall out naturally, and close your eyes. Start to tune back into that intention that you set for your practice. Noticing how your breath is. Taking a last deep inhale. And as you exhale, finding that relaxation. And then beginning to deepen the breath, wiggling the fingers and the toes. Bending the right knee, bending the left knee, and then turning on to your right side. You can use that right arm as a pillow. We come here to a fetal position to help us begin anew. Taking a breath. Just checking in with how you're feeling. And then with your top hand, pressing it down to the floor, work yourself up to a seated position. And you can sit however you feel comfortable. This is easy pose. And I like to sit this way, but please sit however you feel comfortable. Inhale, sweep the arms overhead. Let the palms find one another and draw the hands to your heart. The light in me honors the light in all of you. I appreciate you spending this time with me and letting me be your yoga guide. Namaste.